welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Maggie and welcome today is another DIY is a Easter slash spring wreath the supplies you're gonna need is some florals any kind will do a wreath one of these Easter sign a glue gun and glue sticks to begin, um, we're gonna pop the bunny out of the sign and just use the bunny. We'll save the sign for another project later. I'm not digging the white glittery on the bunny, so I'll be using some sandpaper and sand as much off as I could. And we'll give it a nice coat of white chalked paint to cover up the glitter. We'll glue back the bowl once the paint is all dry. I think I like that better already without a glitter. While well, the bunny dries, we'll assemble our wreath and arrange the flowers how we want them to be before we glue it down. I normally try to trim these wreaths because sometimes it has some parts sticking out to make it a little more neat. And then when that's done, I'm going to start placing my floral on the wreath and gluing it down. You can remove the bunny and use it as a spring summer wreath. DIY, I use the smaller size wreath, any garland or greenery that you have, wood letters, um, glue sticks, glue gun, and any kind of sticks that you can find in your yard really. I'm just using these sticks from the canvas leftover DIY that I did. Set the letters aside so they can dry. Next, we're going to cover the wreath with garland or greeneries. I'm not trying to cover the wreath completely because I want some of the, of the brown to show through. I do like my wreath to be a little sparse. Just cover it and try to adjust it to your liking. 
Once that's done, you're going to start putting the letters onto the wreath. This DIY is so simple and so easy, but it turned out super, super cute. I really, really like it a lot. I have some extra boxwood greeneries on hand, so I'm trying to see how I like it on the wreath. Uh, but in the end, I chose not to, just the garland is um, enough. Then we're going to glue the letters onto the stick first, and then glue the stick onto the wreath. Just arrange your letters, make sure it fits on the stick, and glue it down. We're going to glue the letter onto the wreath. It's really that simple and easy, you guys. I really enjoyed this wreath DIY and it turns out so great. You could also do this for summer. Just, you know, switch out the words and add maybe like little white daisy or yellow daisy on the wreath to make it more summery, you know, or lemons. There's so many ways you can do this and it's so, so cute and super affordable and it takes no time at all. Okay, just a few dabs of glue here and there to make sure it's stable on the wreath. And now we just gotta find a space to hang up this beauty and we are done. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please, if you recreate any of my DIY, don't forget to tag me, I would love to see it. I'm also on Instagram. Right here, I'm just hanging it on my mini ladder that I made in my previous DIY. This one I painted and distressed it in like a grayish white. I will put a link in the description box in case you want to check it out. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think the Hello Spring is my favorite. It is so cute. I would love to hear your thoughts on these two wreaths, so leave me a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!